TV. You got long arms sometimes. <laughs> Are you still friends with Tyson? Well, yeah, I'm still friends with Tyson. You know, I'm a bro too. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to shoot. I wouldn't be who I am as, as one from somebody who somebody thought great. Huh. If you ain't never beat nobody great, then, then, then who are you? Are you you're only good as the people you fight. Were you born with it, or, or was your character and toughness developed, you think? Well, you know, I'm the youngest of nine in my family. I'm the youngest of nine, so my brothers and sisters told me up all the time. <laughs> so, you know, so what, what happened, by, my mama said, stop complaining. If you know, why go out there if you, 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 you don't want to get roughed up? What's, what's, don't go out there then. Don't complain to me. Cause people who complain is not going to ever be the best. The people who don't complain is one of the best. And the people who have to do it over and over again, these are the people who are going to be better. You, you take that guy that had to do it over and over and over and over again. He the one going to get accustomed to doing it over and over. That's how you win. Repetition. Not taking away, not taking away from your victory. Do you think Buster Douglas gave 100 percent that night? Well, you know, it's not my job to worry about it. I know that, I know that, I know that. That's why I'm asking. What, what I'm saying. You think he could have got up? No, no. That is not my job to think for him. My yeah. job is to think for me. There you go. I'm that's like, it, I'm like, whether a person overweight or didn't train and all, that's his problem. You know, I have went in the ring sick and, and got towed up. But, I, you know, I wasn't going to say I was sick because I went in there knowing that I was sick because... I didn't want to lose that nine million dollars. <laughs> hey champ, hey champ, champ. We know you went up in weight. We know you went up in weight from cruiserweight to go up to heavyweight. What advice would you give Mikey Garcia in going up and fighting bigger guys? Because you fought bigger guys your entire career once you crossed the heavyweight division. Well, you know, the thing is, is you got to know if you're a good boxer. If you're a good boxer, I mean technical sound, you can fight anybody. You just just can't get hit by them shots though. That's it. You, know, you got to have good defense. So my own thing, I I know that when when I'm fighting a guy that I know that that can that got that striking power. You know, I, you know, like say Tyson. I knew that Tyson had a striking power. So I always touch him, touch my head. Let me know my hand is up at all, any given time. Like a lot of time, your hands up. They hit you on your hand. Right. You see the you see the shot when it comes like this. You, you know, so you got to have the defense for. How you how you box? And I had fast hands, and I moved real well and stuff like that. So most people can't move and box at the same time. Right. How would you describe Mike Tyson's mindset? He, he fought him twice. How would you describe him? Why why you worry about Mike, uh, Mike? Mike is Mike type of person. Anything he do, cause he believes he can do it better than you. He would not. He really don't want to fight you if he don't think he can beat you. So he only fight not me. I wouldn't fight nobody. I ain't think I could beat either. That's that's how I'm to it. I told that's how a box is supposed to think. Why are you gonna go in the ring if you think you can't beat the guy? I'm talking. I'm talking. Just, I'm talking. It's just common sense. That's just the fight or hard. How many people actually go in there? I don't believe I can beat this guy. So, so that's the reason the fight didn't happen. It took a long time for the fight to happen. When he decided to fight me because he thought he could beat me. And he was wrong. That's it. It seemed like you took something from him. Did, did you see the moment in the fight when you realized you, you took like his Brooklyn out of him? Did you see? Did you realize that? Well, you know, the thing is, is this. The thing is this. When people, when both people are tough and like that, because you're not gonna ever be great if you don't beat nobody who's great. And I realized when I see Mike Tyson beating all them guys that were way bigger than him. I, you know, think about it. Mike Tyson ain't about 5'9". And he, I'm talking, he 5'9", he beating guys 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", longer arms and all this. I'm like, I'm like, he beat the daylights out of them people. Boxing became a, a great sport. Mike, the one that did that, made it great. And then, but when the, when somebody make it great, somebody got to take it from him. And you know, I you know, I just wait for my time for, for it to happen. Speaking of which, what do you think about the, you said that he waited until he felt like he could beat you. What do you think about the Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder situation? Excuse me? I said you, you, you felt like Mike Tyson waited until he felt like he could beat you to take the fight. 
What do you think about the Deontay Wilder Anthony Joshua situation? Well, that's a, that's, a, that's a, you know, if you have an opportunity to fight a person when you wanted to, then it's on. It's like you know, I'm talking like like Deontay De, 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 Deontay will fight anybody at any given time. Now, now the other guy is not like that. I'm talking about, buddy. It's his choice. If you have a choice, then why are you gonna let somebody make a choice for you? If it's your choice, I'm saying. So you know, I'm saying that's that's how I see it. The, the game, of, the game of life is just like this. If you want to play me, I don't want to play right now. I play when I want to play. So either you want to deal with a dog. If you don't, okay. But I'm only gonna play when I think I can beat you. I ain't never winning no fight thinking I was gonna lose. Wilder That's Fury, it. did you see the fight? And what could each fighter do in the rematch? Who? Wilder and Fury, if they rematch? I, I, I actually think, you know, I actually think Wilder won the fight. I, if, he, if anybody knocks somebody down, they on their back, on their back for four seconds. You try to get up, the referee will jump on you, won't let you get up. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. They, they feel that you're hurt. I'm talking, and I, but, but this is what they do. That's what boxing was all about. They for to protect the fighter. Now, you don't say, this guy been winning all these rounds, but he, I'm talking, everybody know that the guy cannot box him. The point of the matter, we know that eventually he gonna get a look in now called Anthony, uh, uh, called Deont Deontay, he take chances to win it. And that would make you a great fighter. People who don't take chance, they ain't gonna never be a great fighter because they don't take enough chance. How do you feel about the referee saying he wanted to give Tyson Fury the benefit of the doubt because he was a champion? That was wrong. I'm talking, that what I'm saying. I'm talking about how are you going to say you want to give a man a benefit of the doubt when that guy got knocked flat on his back, didn't move before he, it was almost like he was in a coma. Then the boy jumped up and got up. And I was surprised that he was able to recover that fast when he got up. But I'm talking about, but still, that don't, that don't take from take from the, he was laying, laying laying on the back for four seconds. Right. Do you feel like Tyson Fury don't want the rematch? I, I, I think Tyson Fury will fight anybody too. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you got to understand, he's a good fight. He'll fight anybody. I'm telling you, just, you know, I'm you, just like, you know, just like, you know, Deontay will fight anybody. They, they, they're not scared of nothing. Go ahead. Appreciate your chance. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo, M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. M Rec TV. It's got a music.